This is breaking news from Channel 7 Eyewitness News. And that breaking news unfolding right now overseas. President Biden promised swift action for that deadly attack at the Kabul airport. And tonight, the United States conducting an airstrike against this ISIS-K target in Afghanistan. Good evening at 11 o'clock. I'm Shade Better and Wong. And I'm David Navarro in for Bill. Let's get right to Eyewitness News reporter Safan Kim in the newsroom with details on the breaking news. Safan. Well, David and Shade, a statement from the U.S. Central Command late tonight in part reading, the unmanned airstrike occurred in the Nangarhar province of Afghanistan. Initial indications are that we killed the target. We know of no civilian casualties. The U.S. military is striking back at the Islamic State less than 48 hours after a devastating suicide bombing killed as many as 13 American service members. This, as we are learning more about those service members, killed in action. When one of our own goes down, we turn out. That's what we do. The chaos and loss in Afghanistan being felt here at home tonight. Lance Corporal Kareem Nakui from Southern California, one of the Marines killed while trying to evacuate Americans and Afghans ahead of the U.S. withdrawal. He rescued three families, and he was in the process of saving children. Uh, translators that had worked for the U.S. government and he passed off a child and then went back into the crowd and that's when the bomb went off. And tonight that chaos not letting up at the Kabul airport as flashbang grenades go off to disperse desperate crowds trying to flee the country in the next four days. The Taliban using military vehicles to block access to airfields at the deadly attack at Abbey Gate, 13 American service members and 170 Afghans killed, 200 wounded. President Biden warned today by his national security team that another terror attack in Kabul is likely, calling the threat specific and active, and saying the next few days will be the most dangerous period to date. Our hearts go out to all those who we've lost. But look, um, the mission there being performed is dangerous, and it's uh, now it's come with a significant loss of American personnel. And, uh, but it's a worthy mission. But questions remain on just how this attack took place with the Pentagon scrutinizing Taliban checkpoints. If they were able to get up uh, to the Marines at the, at the screen, at the, at the entry point of the base, there's a failure somewhere. It was a failure by, uh, you know, the Taliban operate with varying degrees of confidence. Some of those guys are very scrupulously good, some of them are not. But as the backlash intensifies, the airlift goes on. Officials reporting over 12,000 evacuated from the country in the past 24 hours, including more than 300 Americans just yesterday. The State Department saying they are working with another 500 Americans who still want to leave. The president, meanwhile, vowing to punish ISIS in Afghanistan, the group behind the attack. We will not forgive. We will not forget. We will hunt you down and make you pay. Now again, late tonight, U.S. Central Command saying the U.S. conducted a drone strike against an Islamic State member. Officials saying the strike killed one individual. A U.S. official tells ABC News the individual was involved in possibly planning additional attacks, but the official says no links exist linking him to the Kabul attack.